I've put together four entirely different desk setups that you can recreate with the Uperfect O OLED portable monitor. This video is sponsored by Uperfect, so while it's definitely more of a showcase than a review, I can't wait to show you some of the fun ways that I've been using it over the past week or so. While this is a portable monitor, there's no reason that you can't just use it at home, and that's exactly what I've been doing with my Mac Mini desk setup. Now, one of the things that makes this monitor so portable is its collapsible stand, and it was no problem at all to just fold it back and rest it underneath my main screen. My current LG ultra wide monitor isn't necessarily the best in terms of specs, but I really like the amount of space that it gives me, so I was a little bit skeptical as to how much a second screen would actually benefit my work. My initial plan was to use the portable monitor as a nice little hub for my Gmail account so that I could check in on chat and new emails coming through my inbox. But this is a 15.6 inch 4K panel and when you put it into more space mode on your Mac, it actually ends up feeling just as big as that ultra wide up at the top. I found that throughout the day, a lot more of my workflow was actually moving from my main screen over to the portable monitor. Being an OLED, it can produce really deep blacks and actually a much wider range of color than my main monitor. So even working on Photoshop was much more favorable on the portable. Now, if you were really brave, you could probably take your entire Mac mini setup with you in a backpack and work out of a cafe, but that's not for me. So I think most people are probably gonna be using this with something like a MacBook. And just taking those two devices with you is gonna be really easy because of how light and portable this monitor really is. In fact, if you lay it flat next to a 14 inch MacBook Pro, you can see it is actually a little bit slimmer and it's more than portable enough to fit into most backpacks. Add in the fact that it holds about three to four hours of charge and you've got yourself a nice little portable setup that you can take into somewhere like a co-working space. If you wanna get really experimental, you could even use this in a vertical orientation, which could be great for doing things like editing TikToks or YouTube shorts. My main use case for it has been to follow along with some Skillshare courses because I'm trying to improve my Photoshop skills at the moment. And the fact that you can do that on this screen and still be confident in the color accuracy is a massive win too. Another device that you can absolutely pair with a portable monitor like this is an iPad. And testing this setup out has been the first time I've really started to understand the potential of Stage Manager. I'll admit it's still not my working environment of choice, but if you are an iPad fan and you do wanna have access to a second screen from time to time, then a monitor like this is a great option. I think where Stage Manager really does shine is if you've got a mobile app that you want to use on a bigger screen, for example, Instagram, where you can put together reels and stories using assets from your iPad in a slightly more professional environment than your phone. I often work on this channel once I've put my son to bed and being able to have the baby monitor up while working on other apps is actually a really big win for me. But something that does frustrate me about Stage Manager in iPadOS is that even though this screen has touch controls, I can't use them to operate any apps when I'm using my second screen. I also thought it was a shame that apps like DaVinci Resolve have a max scale of the size of the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and so I wasn't actually able to full screen them on my second screen which felt like a real big miss. Oh and by the way if you do want to use an iPad with your portable monitor setup the only way that I could actually get it to work was using a Genki Covert Dock which I intended for my Switch. Because of all the experiences that I've had using this screen gaming with my Nintendo Switch has been the absolute best. Because the Switch does require a dock to output video and audio to a screen, you will need either the original dock or something like the Genki Covert Mini. But once you've got that all set up, you should be able to play your Nintendo Switch on a screen like this. It is a 60 hertz panel, so you're gonna get those beautifully crisp animations on a game like Fire Emblem. You could also use it with a Steam Deck, but just be aware that the particular dock I've got isn't enough to sustain your Steam Deck's battery while playing and outputting to this monitor, so you need to find another solution. Thanks again to Uperfect for sponsoring this video. You can save up to $200 on a portable monitor by using one of the codes in the description. And if you wanna hear some more of my thoughts on why I don't think the iPad is a great MacBook replacement, then check out this video here.